Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have a pretty good uh, sized Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is uh, brand new. If you want to keep up to date on what is hitting the shelves at the Dollar Tree or want to find out on what great deals are out there and bargains and clearance and all that good stuff, be sure you click on to that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram, which I will list that down below. So let me dive in and let me show you on what I purchased. So I am going to start off with some new notebooks. These are for my daughter because they both have cats, my two oldest ones. So um, these have 80 sheets. There's this black one that says, check me out. And like I said, it is a lined paper. And then we have Check Me Out, pink one with the little black cat on the bottom. So I think those are really cute. And since I have cats in here, then I, I'm going to add a clip of my daughter's cats down below. Um, they are Bengal cats. She adopted them from a client that was unable to take care of them. They are beautiful cats, very good cats, very good cats, but they are very, very active. So if you are a cat owner and if you know anything about Bengal cats, then you know about this breed, but they are beautiful. Okay, enough of that. Um, how about a joking around letter rip? noise maker thingy. They had it in, I believe, three different colors, green, yellow, and blue, and the batteries are included. So I'll go ahead and start pushing. One sounds like a cow. That one about right there sounds about right for Josie. If you don't know who Josie is, right there is Josie in her window. That is my French Bulldog, and I have two Bostons. But she's she's the tutor out of all of them, although they all toot, but she's, she's the worst one. In fact, I got a spray in this room because she... <sighs> don't know what she ate, but... I'm getting the side effects of it. Um, how about Polly Pocket ages four and up? Oh my gosh, I remember buying so many of these when my oldest daughter was little. Oh, and trying to dress these dolls is like impossible. Um, I only I only saw one different well, this is the only one they had. Well, they had a bunch of them, but you know what I mean. Style. It has the bear on its shirt. Um, it's plastic hair, but the clothes are rubber. Oh, she's mi oh here it is. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> we are missing a shoe. I thought my Polly Pocket lost her shoe. Yeah, these these dolls are so hard. I think I think to dress, but you can take their shirts off and pants, and it looks like her necklace comes off. But these are fun little dolls. My, my kids liked playing with them, although I don't think Ava ever played with them. But yeah, I thought that was a good deal for only a buck. Although I did see, gosh darn it, the shoe fell off again. I don't know, I might have to add some glue to your feet there, Polly. Um, Walmart, I've seen these um, there for a dollar, and they had a, quite a few different ones, but I don't need a bunch of them. So yeah. It's up with my hair today. <laughs> um, they have so many new knee-high socks. Um, this is the only pair I picked up. I'm going to give these to my daughter, Sam. These are sizes 5 to 9, and look at the paw print. These are perfect for her. She has a dog. She rescued a dog. Drove all the way to Alabama and rescued a dog and rescued the two cats, and she works at a vet. So, yeah, these are going to be perfect for her. Um... Has the Dollar Tree always carried this? This is Bella Linda. Sounds like a name of a fancy dog. Um, hairspray. Holds your style. So yeah, Bella Linda. They had a couple other products too. A mousse. That was the other one. So is this new or am I just losing it? Mm. Smells like Aquanet. I'm like back in the 80s. 
Remember those hairstyles? You would take a pick, go like this, spray your hair and take the hair dryer and hold it there for like an hour until your scalp's on fire and then you walk away and then like your hair, your bangs are sticking up like this. I'm gonna see if I can find, I think I might be able to find some of my pictures from high school. I think I'll do that. And at the end here, I'm gonna add some pictures of me back in high school. Pretty sure I have some pictures here at my house. I'll show you how I did my hair. Funny. Oh, then I graduated back in 94, by the way. 1994, not 1894. Um, these. Okay, I seen these at uh, 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 Walmart. They had them for 250. So I'm like, ha I found them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And they had four different ones. Now, let me know if you have found these and if you found any different ones than the ones I'm going to show you because there's 10 to collect. These are called Zoops, Wacky Zooming Animals. I twist and climb. So we have a turtle, a unicorn, a parrot, bird, whatever and a sloth. I don't know exactly, I mean, let's see, it takes three, looks like, I think, double A or triple A batteries. Well, foo. You know what I'm gonna do here at the end, when I end this, I will um, put some batteries in this little booger. But how would double A batteries fit in, you know what, just open it, Jenny. Open it. Don't mind if I do. that size of battery fitting inside of this tiny oh sloth okay oh ah I just cracked the ball open now it rolled over there oh man okay so this is like a vacuum hose I mean where are you supposed to put the batteries does it come with batteries? Oh! All right, let me go get the other part of the ball. Okay, it comes with the uh, directions. So here at the end, I will figure this complicated sloth out and I will show you on what this does. So it'll let you know if you should buy it for yourself, kid, grandkid, neighbor, whatever. So we'll, we'll figure you out. Sure in the heck don't look like sloth, that's for sure. Okay, let's move on. Um, get you over there. Um, uh, for the, um, fairy garden. I really didn't want to get stuff for the fairy garden, but I went ahead and grabbed these three things because they are new and they are cute and they're going to be perfect on my deck with all the plants and all that good stuff. But look, look at that. There is a bunny. Is that a deer? Or a lamb? I'm sure it's probably a deer. How can you see a lamb out in the woods? I don't know. In Jenny's world, you would. But that is the reason why I wanted this pack. is because of the cardinal. Yes, cardinal. I wish they had one entire pack full of cardinals. I would like that. And these are actually painted much better this time around than last time because they are so cheap looking but honestly they look so much better this time around good job Dollar Tree or whoever made these and then the other pack um has a turtle like a hedgehog or something porcupine and an owl so I'm going to open that because I know there's a glare but sometimes you can't really get a good look at them Okay, now, the, oh, I guess, ah, the turtle's smiling. The turtle is smiling. Oh, and I forgot to write down the name of my nail polish because I know you guys are going to ask about it. I can't remember. And yes, I do my own nails. I mean, they're horrible. But I haven't been to a nail salon in over 10 years. 13 years, actually. I do my own nails. I just can't, I can't, I just can't bring myself to go there. What is that? That, I think it has a dingleberry. Oh, where are you? There we go. So you have a cute little owl that looks like me when my dog farts. And then we have the cute little hedgehog thing. And then the last item I picked up um, 
are the gnomes on the teeter-totter. And you know what, you guys? I really think they really put some effort this year in their fairy garden stuff. And like the little, I call it the candy land. Because the detail they have on these this time around is so much better. I mean, I think it's real. And they have some weight to them. I am very, very impressed at this time around. So if you've been debating back and forth, if you should get any of the fairy garden stuff, I think they're a lot better this year, my honest opinion. So because of that, I might get maybe the entire set. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm not going to get the entire set because I don't like all the pieces. I'll get what I like and then I'll use them in my flower pots and that in the back. Okay, moving on. So I have a daughter that's going to be graduating high school this year. And that means I only have two more to go. Um, so I started picking up some stuff for decorations for her party. It's never too early to start. So I went ahead and picked up some of these hanging decorations. These are the garland and they are nine feet long. And then these hanging decorations, they're pom-poms. I bought a few of these different colors, that is, for like New Year's. Um, and they were actually pretty nice, although the, the foil ones had like a dirty feet or toe jam smell. I don't like those, but the paper ones are fine. So I picked up those. They are, they take some time to unfold and do all that stuff. So if you have the time, go ahead and do it. Now, I know I bought some of these last year, but I can't remember if they had this pink one. To me, this one looks just like Josie. Oh, and these are bows, by the way, but I'm not going to use it. Hi, Boo Bear. Were you sleeping with your sissy? You probably have to go potty, don't you? Can you wait a minute? Can you wait a minute? Okay, just a minute. But look, does that look like Joe? I think it does. So I was just going to take um, this bow apart to use the, the um, ribbon because I'll just undo it. And I'm going to use this clip. You can use it because it's a really strong clip. Um, I'll use it for something else. I'll clip papers together. I use it for a chip clip. I'm going to dissect this. Or try to. That is. These scissors are horrible. Got these at Hobby Lobby on Clarence. Now I know why they were on Clarence. I mean, those suckers are glued. But anyway, all I'm going to do is tear this apart. Oh, is that hold? Oh, okay. That has string. So it has string underneath. So if you plan on buying any of these kind of bows, use it. Use it for the, um, I don't want to say fabric, but for the ribbon itself. I mean, you can really make some really cute stuff with this. I'm trying to get the string. I'm trying to cut this in half for you guys, but it's not working. Here we go. Got it. So look at that. I would say that's probably at least, uh, well, wait, do I have my ruler? 12, a little over 24 inches long. So look at that. You can cut it and individually and put it in pocket letters or whatever. So yeah, you can take these bows apart and use it for this. Freeze it. You don't have to use it for a bow. And I'll have to take that stuff off, but use it for something else. You can make a little beak on a bird or an alligator mouth or something. Um, this is tapid, general purpose a masking tape. You get 60 yards, and this felt really, really sticky. There was one open. I'm like, wow, that's really sticky. And it has blue lines or green lines. Why is there green lines? That's my question. Does it make it stronger? I don't know. But this felt a lot better than the ones they normally carry. So I'm going to be repainting um, some stuff. I might record it. I'm not quite sure. My kitchen really needs to be painted, but that is like the worst part of the house to paint because of all the cabinets and entryways and all that crap. Okay. So yes, this is really, really sticky. This is going to work perfect. So yes, I can tell right now I'm going to like this. So if you're in the market for some tape, go to the Dollar Tree and get some. The last two items, I picked up some Betty Crocker a Shimmer and Shine Fruit Snacks. Can't beat that. Name brand, full size, $1. 
And you know darn all these are two something. Can you let Ava, can you let um, Boo Boo out? She has to try to call her. Barbie potty. Uncle Potty. What do you want from me? I'm doing like what you want, baby girl. She's been doing a lot better. I know a lot of you were concerned. Um, it's hit and miss. Right, baby girl? Yes. But I haven't had to give her any pain medicine. I've been keeping an eye on her. Why <laughs> it taking so long to open some fruit snacks? Right there. Perfect. Love them. More fruit snacks, Ava. And, of course, I had to get the General Mills Count Chocula. So they've had Booberry, Frankenberry, and Count Chocula. Oh my gosh, this was some of my favorite cereal growing up. Although I haven't had milk in over five, six, seven, seven years, eight years. So I eat my um, cereal dry. I've tried the almond milk and that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I can't, I just, I can't. I tried it, doesn't work. Um, So yeah, how big is that? 10.4 ounce. I just can't get over the price of cereal. It's just insane. Ugh. So that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your uh, local stores. So as you know, I've been doing some Q&As at the end of my, some of my videos. And if you are the first person to answer the questions correctly at the end of the month when I ask you to, that person will win a $25 gift card to your choice of store as long as I can buy it here in my town, which is Fort Wayne, Indiana. So the two Q and A's, kind of Q and A's, I'm going to be doing is my favorite movie is The Notebook. I love that show, that movie, and I can watch it over and over and over and over and over. Never get sick of it. Same with Hitch. I love Hitch. Love that movie. So that is going to be the end of this Dollar Tree haul. So I hope you all enjoyed. If so, I would love a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos or any clearance hauls or bargain hauls, go ahead and click on to my playlist and that'll bring up different categories of my videos along with uh, Dollar Tree DIYs and how I make um, pocket letters, which I really need to start doing more videos on pocket letters. So I only did one and I have a straight piece of hair. I forgot to curl that. So yeah, I just want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful Sunday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling. Alex here. He's going to be drilling two lucky winners and today we're going to give away two pocket letters. If you don't know what a pocket letter is, go ahead and go to my playlist, click on pocket letter and that'll give you an idea on what that is. Okay, Alex, each winner has 48 hours to contact me to claim your prize. And the first one is Betty. Betty, you are one of the winners and Alex, go ahead, pick one more. And the other one is Susan. So congratulations, ladies.